Hi, Tim McClare here with Irwin Marine on another tech tip. Um, this one is about the swim platform. And the phone call we get is it doesn't work or my motors won't start. So they're all kind of tied in together. Uh, to start, the ignitions are on right now on this boat. So it will not allow anything to function back there. So for, first thing to do is turn the keys, ignition keys off and very models will be in different places. Some will be at the steering wheel, some will be under the helm, but your ignitions have to be off, uh, whether you have one motor or two. If you have a hydraulic platform, that has to be off. The next thing is there's a power button to turn on. So on this 350 SLX that we're on, that's the button that sends power to the back to allow the switch to work. So here at the stern on this particular 350 SLX, the switches are in this panel. Um, so you've got your engine hatch and your platform. Now, when I press the platform button, you're gonna get an audible alarm. Uh, and it's going to delay anything from moving for about seven seconds, which is to get it runs the out drives down so that you're not going to hit them with the platform. to go back up there's no delay because it doesn't have to worry about the out drives because it already knows they're down. So another thing to notice I held the button to make sure it came fully up and the reason I did that is all the safety switches that are inside the platform if you don't hold it all the way up it will not start so that's another call we get because the platform's not all the way up so we're going to tell you to run the platform all the way up to make sure that it's 